Mr. Giles, and we're going to make a quick uh, background using Sketchpad. So we're going to set the size to 1920 by 1080. Make sure that this lock is turned off so that you can put those numbers in. And then we're going to just select a plain white background and hit Create. If, if it's transparent, it'll work too, but it'll look more like mine if it's transparent. Do you want to save this current image? Don't save. Uh, sure, save. Why not? You can save it. OK. Now, it looks like there are marks on my, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refresh my screen and see if I can get rid of the stuff that's on my screen. It doesn't seem like there should be any dots on my screen at all, but maybe I'm wrong. OK, yay, there we go. Uh, if you ever have a weird glitch on your screen, just by um, reloading the page, that seems to fix the problem. I like to set the size zoom to fit, and then I go down a couple so I can see the edges, so I can see this gray background. That's like the desk you're working on. That's what that is. So to make a background, um, I'm going to go and select the tools, and the, all the tools show up here. And I'm going to select the line tool, and I'm going to create a horizon. So one click of your mouse with the left click. Click, and then you drag it, and you go across and drag it over. Oh because of my video in the way. Drag it and drop it. Now I've made this line. I can also, before I finish clicking, I can actually go back to the line tool and I can make it thicker. I actually like to set the thickness to, you know, I don't know, somewhere between 12 and 15. And then I'm gonna hit enter or this check mark. I'm gonna hit enter, the enter key, or double click on the last thing. And that should make the line stay. Now we're gonna get the fill tool and you've gotta change the vector fill tool to pixel fill. The pixel fill is what makes it work. If you don't do this, it won't work. Also, if you have any openings in the line, I'm going to demonstrate uh, what will happen. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to go to uh, stars here, and I'm going to go to uh, turn the fill off. I just want the outline. And I'm going to select, um, I don't know, a square. I'm going to draw an unfilled in square. I'm going to just give you an idea of what happens when I fill things in. We'll just pretend these are like cartoon clouds that are squares or whatever. OK, so um, I'm going to get my fill tool. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the sky with a blue color. So I'm going to click anywhere in the white. And you'll notice that it fills all the area that is touching. So um, if there is an opening, it would spill through that opening. So if there were like a little crack here or even a one pixel dot, it would go through the bottom. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit Enter, or I'm going to click the check mark so that that blue stays. I think my camera is messing that up. So anyway, I'm going to go back to the pixel fill tool. I'm going to make grass by just picking a green color and then clicking here. It fills that whole area. I'm going to hit Enter. Now, this tool will work wherever you click. So for example, if I click inside this box, all the colors that are touching, the white colors, will fill with the green color. Also, you can make it stronger by changing the tolerance. Like how hard does it push against the edges? Like I think if, I don't know if you notice, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And how do I move the screen? Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, well, maybe I can just grab the screen like this. No, control Z. I'm going to move back out. I'm going to zoom back out. Back out. OK, so um, I can hit control Z to undo that color. And those are my clouds. So there is a very simple background that I've made that, that I could use to animate with. I'm going to make another background. OK, so I'm going to hit plus. And by the way, these save. So if you want to find them, you can go to open. And all the different files you've made will save. The newest one will be at the front. I believe you can even, can you name them? Mm, I don't know if you can name them. But when you save them, you can. I'm going to go new, same size, 1920 by 1080, create. Okay, And I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. And I'm going to make a beach. And this is very simple uh, also. I'm going to get my line tool. And I'm just going to, by the way, you can click multiple times on your line. I'm going to make the beach right here. Double click to end or hit enter. Then I'm going to make a horizon. All right, that's about it. Now I'm going to hit enter. OK, now I'm going to go to the fill tool. I'm going to fill this with water. I'm going to make it sort of a darker blue. By the way, you can change any shade of any color by coming down here and sort of dragging the color. So there's my water. OK, and um, I'm going to go to the beach here. And I'm also going to hit, don't forget to hit enter. And then let's go back to the fill tool. And we're going to go to make a sand color. Click here. I'm going to hit Enter. And then I'm going to go do the sky. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to pick a light blue. And I'm going to click there and hit Enter. And now I have made the beach. 
These are going to be for animations with stick figures. So I want to leave lots of space. I don't want to put any drawings that would look like they, you know, they are something that should be moving. There's lots of details you can add. There's lots of other fun things you can do. Here's one that I like. When you go to fill, you can change it to linear and you have all these like shades. So for example, this color here, I can click and drag and I can get this sort of horizon color. Um, I can do that with the water. I can do that with the sand. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, there's some sandy colors right here. And I'll click inside here. And it creates this sort of uh, smooth gradient um, that gives you like a very realistic looking colors. Um, so anyway, I hope that gives you some tricks and clips. And by the way, anything doesn't work, click the reload button, the refresh button, the reload, the, the whatever it does to reload the page. You won't lose your work. And it usually fixes any problems like if a color isn't selecting or a tool isn't working right, try refreshing the page. I hope that's helpful. Have a great day. Maybe if I can find the stop button.